what's going on guys cjr here with the first 20. um in this series i'm basically gonna be playing through the first 20 minutes of a game um, i'm gonna focus on games that aren't typically out there that there's not a lot of gameplay footage of uh, so i'm not gonna be doing any marios anything like that but up today um, one of my favorite all-time games as many as you, as many of you know is uh, metal gear solid on the game boy color um, so you can see here as the game starts, it goes through a lengthy cutscene, sets up the background story. Uh, it's, it's very, very impressive uh, considering they squeezed all this into a Game Boy Color cartridge. Um, it's, it really is a full-fledged Metal Gear game. So uh, a lengthy codex uh, conversation here, or codex conversation, and um, like I said, the, the cutscenes in this are pretty fantastic for the Game Boy Color. Uh, it's really a very cinematic game. Um, I'm not sure where it falls in the uh, Metal Gear Solid lineage, but uh, it's it's an impressive feat for the Game Boy Color. In my opinion, this is easily a top three game on the Game Boy Color. Um, let's see what I can select here. I don't think I've unlocked a whole lot. Okay, we got up to stage four so far. Um, let's go back. We'll just start from the beginning here. Also, I should mention there are actually VR missions in this, which is really, really ridiculous. This is the amount of stuff that they cram in this cartridge is just astounding. So we're going to go through, um, it's a Metal Gear game. So there's a ton of dialogue. Um, as you can hear, the sounds are straight out of Metal Gear Solid. Uh, uh, it's a little tough because you can't see the guys on the screen over, much like Zelda. Um, but usually, if you get caught like this, you can go down and it'll, uh, it'll clear your map, so... Let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Um, I'm supposed to be going the other way, but... I just noticed that this up here might be the gun that I need. And so you can sneak across the walls here, which is really impressive. Nice. Equip with B button. So it, it really, I forgot that the guys actually at some times drop items. Really nice, so you can knock them out if you get them again, usually it'll uh, kill them I guess. And they'll uh, disappear. You really gotta use your map, it's up in the top right in this game. Uh, because it, 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 the, the, uh, it scrolls, so sometimes you'll run right into an enemy. Uh, and they're dropped the first time. Uh, let's see, I believe you push the select button and you can select an item. Uh, now how do I use my ration? It's been a long time since I played this game. Okay. Ration. Now how do I use the ration? Okay, so I, I, I can't use the ration at the moment, I guess. Uh, let's see, can I equip my weapon? Okay, there we go. Okay, so B will shoot. But how do I use, I guess it'll automatically use the ration when you need it, if that makes sense. So if your health falls below a certain level It'll uh, apply the ration. So let's see if we can sneak up on this guy in the bush. Take him out. And you can see here. You can hide as long as they don't step on you. It's a really fun mechanic. It's amazing all the Metal Gear Solid mechanics that they've been able to squeeze into this cartridge. Let's quickly make a break for it. Oh, I'm still crawling. 
Don't look over here. Don't look over here. Run for it. Ah. So he caught me there. I forgot I have a gun. Let's see. And this game works diagonal. I should I should mention that I'm using the uh, Retron 5 control pad, which uh, seems to be working so far. Uh, red water there. Don't know. I can't remember if it's red in the original game. <laughs> Might be a uh, graphical issue there. I can't remember if I can... Oh yeah, you can actually go underwater too. And then it's got your oxygen gauge there. That's very, very cool. But it depletes quite quick. Yeah, just the, uh, the things they were able to do with the graphics here are absolutely some of the coolest I've ever seen. Definitely on the Game Boy, if not ever. Stage one cleared. Found four times. That is terrible. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that literally is terrible. The first time I played through, I got a good rating. That's pretty bad. And you can see here, here's the opening cutscene. Really cool stuff. All right, so you can see that we've now entered a uh, codec section of the game, just like the original game, really cool, all the same sounds, very, very well done. Uh, fortunately, with the Retron 5 controller, I can actually fast forward through these conversations very quickly. Uh, some really good story here. It's your typical Metal Gear affair. It's um, pretty convoluted at times, but for a Game Boy Color game, it is fantastic. I, uh, I'd rather show you guys some gameplay though. You don't want to get too deep into the story. Uh, some of these Metal Gear games can make your brain explode at times. It's so uh, twisted and just, just complete craziness. So it's basically, Campbell's basically giving you the lowdown on what you need to do in this level and what to watch out for. Uh, so they'll slowly introduce me mechanics, which is really cool. Here you've got the um, security cameras. And I'm out of bullets. I got one left. So you can see the sneaking is really fantastic. The controller works really well with this. I'm really impressed. Um, and look at the animation. His running animation is really, abs really nice looking. See what I mean? Like sometimes you just uh, pop into a screen and you're right in the middle of two bad guys. So fortunately I can fast forward here, let him get into his uh, search animation. This fast forward button really comes in handy on games like this. So as you can see, I can fast forward that. And it gets me right back to being able to play again. I believe that's a door I'm supposed to go into, but I'm see if there's any ammo over here. Guys, I forgot to thank Levi from my Facebook page for uh, coming up with the name, the first 20 or the first 20 minutes he suggested. I just kind of shortened it a bit. Um, like I said, I've been, you know, planning on doing gameplay series, especially now with the Retron. But um, yeah, the first 20 is great. 20 minutes is the perfect time for me just to give you guys a good, um, good breakdown of these, these uh, kind of hidden gems. So basically the soldiers are having a conversation about uh, taking uh, switching shifts and breaking and uh, not not getting in trouble kind of thing. Really cool stuff. So it's pretty interesting. It's funny that this guy starts his shift and instantly he faces... Oh cool, I just picked up the suppressor for the my gun. Mute's firing. So basically he just comes to a shift and decides to face the wall and take a nap. 
That's pretty awesome. Sounds like when I worked for the city. <laughs> but seriously though, I worked for the city in high school and uh, I worked nights, not in high school, just out of high school. And um, I worked with another guy and basically we would do our two hours of work, get the place all cleaned up, that kind of stuff. And then we would turn on the water slide. It was at a indoor pool. Turn on the music, go sit in the hot tub, water slide. It was right around the time that the PS2 came out. So I would bring my PS2 in, he was a big gamer. And uh, we would play video games till six o'clock in the morning. It was absolutely fantastic. And from what I heard, it was actually one of the harder city jobs. It's not saying a whole lot. You know, not that all city people are obviously uh, lazy, but. There's uh, known to be a lot of downtime in city jobs. So obviously I'm not too clear where I'm going here. Let's try knocking and see if I can draw this guy over. He's a little far away. There, now we got him. Yeah, I'm not completely sure what exactly I'm doing right now because I fast forward through all the cutscenes. Or through the Kodak conversation. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. Man, this is such a cool game. Obviously, pretty cool, you can enter the trucks, just like uh, the PS1 version. Um, I believe in the next couple levels, they introduce the uh, hiding in the box mechanic. Sorry, I know you can hear the frantic clicking on my controller here. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. Um, one thing I haven't figured out yet is how to get to that box. Like I, I can't move these. I don't know which button to push. It's kind of aggravating. Uh, I could use a ration. It's interesting, the animation. They try and butt you with the, or hit you with the uh, butt of their gun. Hopefully this is some bullets. Oh, assault rifle. Uh, better quickly equip that. That's pretty sweet. Let's see if I can get the alarm off. Don't want to kill anybody needlessly. It would be nice if you, uh, when you leaned up against uh, the walls here, if it would actually scroll down. And maybe it does, I just, it's been a while since I played this. Ah, it does, that's fantastic. Uh, the B button will actually scroll and then you can do, yeah, that's really cool, that's very helpful. Like I said, it's been a while that since I played this, so I'm still trying to remember all the uh, mechanics of this game. No idea where I'm going right now. See, that's very helpful. I would run right into that guy. So you can fast forward him into his uh, pattern. And then pop out, give him a couple shots. And then all hell breaks loose because that guy saw me. Go the assault rifle. Oh, and I'm dead. Nope, I'm not dead. I still had one. What am I doing? Come on, get out of here. That's it. It's time to go on a shooting spree. Oh, 
Oh, you son of a gun. Crawl under here. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to cut it here. This is a epically long um, codec conversation from what I remember. So um, I just want to thank you guys for checking out the first 20 minutes of Metal Gear Solid on the Game Boy Color. And uh, once again, thanks to Levi for the great name. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, go ahead and check out the Facebook page below. And um, stay tuned for this week's garage sale video. I uh, picked up a ton of great stuff once again. Uh, my luck has really continued. And a bit of a spoiler, I actually picked up a Wii U at a uh, garage sale, so you have to check out that footage. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Later.